What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day eight of 100 of Days of Onshape. Today, uh, what we're going to look specifically at is how to make, how to change your active units, and how to do fillet in a chamfer. On top of that, if you can see the drawing here that I'm referencing, I'm also going to bring in as an image. And so I'm going to kind of show you how, if there's something that I want to be shown uh, off to the side, how do we bring that image in and be able to use it. Okay, so other than that, let's go ahead and get started. And let's go back to our main hub interface. So after you log on, here's where you're at. We're going to click on Create Document, and we're going to just call this, you know, Active Units, Chamfer, and fill it. It's not a fillet, it's a fillet. All right. Now, first thing I'm going to do is on this front, on this front plane right here, we're going to create a new sketch. And what I want you to get in the habit of is anytime you start a new sketch, right click, view normal to, uh, and in this case, sketch plane would be the same thing, is that allows this to be front on. And we can use this view cube, or if you want to get just always knowing that you're flat on your face, you can go ahead and do that normal too. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in that image. So what I've done is I'm gonna insert this image and I'm gonna insert this image from my files. It's gotta bring it from your computer onto Onshape. So you have to import it. And I found out that PNG files tend to work pretty well. So if you have the option of saving it, saving it as PNG, will probably be your best bet. Next thing I'm gonna do is it says draw image rectangle. So I'm gonna draw where I want this image to be. Now here's my origin point. I'm not gonna put my picture on my origin point because I want it off to the side. So off to the side somewhere, I'm just gonna draw approximately, oh, I double click there, let's try that again. Let's, there we go. Let's bring this in. Double clicking too much folks, so I'm just gonna bring this Draw that rectangle and then plop it on right over there. Drag and drop, and then we are good to go. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is that on that top plane, we're gonna start building our part. So if you notice our part is got a cylinder body with a square peg sticking out, and then we have some fillet and some chamfers that we're gonna add in later. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create a sketch on this top plane right here and then right click, uh, view normal to, and let's go ahead and throw in this circle. But the problem I run into is that when I try to draw the circle, my units are in inches right now. So how do we fix that before we get started? And so on, on the top left here, what you're gonna notice is this document window tab. If I click down on that, and then you see workspace units as an option, and we can change this to be kind of what we need it to be, and that's going to be millimeters for this instance. I know because on my drawing right here, it says all dimensions are in millimeters. So now let's go back to my top plane. So view normal two. There we go. And let's go back to the sketch. All right, so now we got a circle. That circle is gonna be 40 millimeters in circumference, or sorry, in diameter. So I'm just gonna draw a circle, hit D on my keyboard for dimension, and then just type in 40. Okay, hit the green check mark, and we've got our circle, and we're ready to extrude that body downwards. Since I'm building off of this circle, I can actually make this top plane kind of disappear. That way I don't accidentally click on anything else while I'm building this part. So now let's go ahead and click on extrude. We're gonna extrude this. Uh, it doesn't really matter which direction you do, but I'm gonna go downwards. So I'm gonna flip the opposite direction there. And then that depth is gonna be for 30 millimeters. Okay, we're looking good there. I'm gonna go ahead and build this square peg that sits out on top, and then we're gonna add our fillets and chamfers. So I'm gonna click on sketch, and I'm just gonna actually click on the top face of this and it's gonna create a new sketch plane for me. But like every other sketch plane so far, we always have to right click and then hit view normal too. That way we can see it straight on. This is gonna be a rectangle, or sorry, yeah, rectangle, but it's gonna be centered upon that origin point. So we see right here that this is a 10 by 10 rectangle. 
and it's centered in between uh, on that circle. So right click, view normal to again. And so that's why I really like using the R key on my keyboard because that automatically makes me draw a two point rectangle rather than drawing the corners. I select where the center of that rectangle is gonna be and then I can figure out my height and width from there. Okay, so we've got our square drawn overall, but I need to throw in my dimensions for it. So using D in our keyboard, it's a 10 by 10. And since we already used that specific rectangle, let's see, uh, center point rectangle, we, uh, we know that when I throw in those dimensions, it'll stay in the center. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom on out. Well, let's extrude this piece up and that's going to go up 15 millimeters okay so we got our body built now we're going to do some some additive uh, geometry for that fillet so what does that look like so up on your toolbar you'll see that a fillet is one of your first options when editing 3d geometry and so what we can do is we can click on a face or we can click on an edge. If we click on a face, it will fill it all four edges of this rectangle, or if you fill it, you know, the face of this circle, it will fill it all the way around. But I just want this edge to come on up. So when I click on a fillet, it will automatically fill in as if it was a weld, and I can click on all four edges right there and it kind of does as expected. Next thing we need to make sure is that the radius for our fillet is appropriate. So we got a five millimeter radius and that looks okay. All right, next thing I wanna do now is I wanna chamfer this bottom edge, which gives the bevel. We notice it's a five millimeter bevel at a 30 degree angle. So what I'm gonna do here now is click on chamfer, which is right next to fillet and we're going to chamfer this whole bottom edge. So I'm going to select the edge there and then it looks good. Now by default it's automatically going to do a 45 degree bevel so we need to change for this instance what kind of chamfer we got. So instead of an equal distance we're going to do distance and angle and that's a five millimeter bevel inwards at an angle of 30 degrees. and then click OK. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. We have our piece fully built and modeled correctly with our fillet and our chamfer and all edges. If you want to get this drawing out of here, you can either hide it, make it invisible, or you can delete it. So usually if I'm done with this piece, I actually just go ahead and delete that thing. That way it's not in my way anymore when I'm trying to do some more pieces uh, to this geometry. Okay, guys, that'll be it for today's video. If you have any questions, comments, concern, feel free to throw them down in the comment section. If you like these videos, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will be hopefully doing more videos down the pipeline. If there's anything particular you'd like to see, feel free to shoot me through whatever social media platform you'd like, but I know there'll be much more to come. Alrighty, guys, I will catch you later, and I'll see you on the next video.